Do not go into real estate debt until you watch today's show. Darren from SoCal, this one's for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show... On Holton Wise TV, we work together, right? We work together one-on-one. -on -one. I'm here to help you start, grow, build your real estate portfolios, right? Achieve your financial goals through real estate, right? I've achieved my financial goals through real estate, so it can be done. Now, the guy I'm working with today is my man, Darren. You are from SoCal, brother, and you are a hockey coach and a hockey league administrator. And we're going to do things uh, a little bit differently today, right? Because uh, I'm actually, believe it or not, going to talk you out of buying a property. I don't actually want you to buy a property at this moment. And I'm going to spend your your show here telling you why, right? Your current situation, right? You are an investor with a low, moderate to low investment uh, risk tolerance, rather, right? A risk tolerance, right? You have a low risk tolerance is what you're trying to do. Now, you were telling me that you are interested in eighty to $100,000 properties, okay? That's good. That's going to put you in the B, possibly some C. Like, if we're, if we're going for duplexes, that puts you in the C range, okay? But, you know, you're telling me, hey, low risk, low risk, low risk. So, for eighty to hundred k, we can definitely get you some extremely low-risk single-family homes, which is great. That's perfect. But... The caveat to that is is part of what you told me in your email. I'm just going to read some of that here, okay? Well, I currently have about $10,000 to invest, but I know that won't be enough to start. I'm trying to access some of my inheritance early through a HELOC on my mom's house. HELOC, by the way, guys, that uh, stands for a home equity line of credit, right? So that would be like uh, his mother, say she owns a house, it's worth $100,000, Okay. Uh, the bank, and say she has no mortgage, the bank would go in and they'd probably loan her approximately $75,000 on that house, right? So he could utilize that, okay? Uh, but I know that won't be enough to start. I'm trying to access some of my inheritance early through a HELOC on my mom's house, but I'm worried about using that strategy because of the possible consequences if things go badly, mainly worst case scenarios like uh, the lender calling the HELOC due and or my mom losing her house. I'm open to your opinion on that considering your experience in real estate investing. If the HELOC is possible, I would have about 100000 to work with, right? So that right there. That to me, brother, that's why I want to see you wait. There is no shame in waiting, okay? You, you don't have to get started right away because you got 10K right now. I don't want to see you take out this extreme high-risk debt, which, by the way, it's not going to be like a 30-year loan, right? The debt itself uh, is going to put you in a cash flow negative position because there's not really that much cash flow uh, with the types of properties you want, Okay. And the worst thing you can do right now, especially with where things are, is get yourself into a high-risk, high-debt situation, right? Like, you're a hockey coach in a hockey league admin, okay? Uh, truth be told, I don't know that much about, uh, you know, the hockey coaching industry, but, you know... I'm a dude. I watch sports. I know what's going on in the world right now, right? We got COVID, okay? This is not a very good time. Uh, my guesstimate is this is not a good time for the, the coaching, uh, you know, industry right now, right? We got, uh, you know, sports are getting shut down all over. So I wouldn't want to see you in a position where your job security is already at a high, all-time high, you then get some extremely high-risk debt on your mother's home, and then it's cash flow negative because your goal, right, is to get these low-risk properties, but with these low-risk properties comes low cash flow. So what I want to show you, right, this property, 4077 Bayard Road, South Euclid. I do not, I do not want you to buy this. As a matter of fact, you can't even buy it. I just analyzed this the other day for another client of mine. So it's not even available, right? It's contingent, under contract, allow showings. This particular cap was in a, not the exact situation as you, but he was in a similar situation where I felt 
low risk was key. So what I want you to do, I want to have you take a look at some of that footage now so you can really see what type of numbers we're working with on these low risk assets. 4077 Bayard Road, South Euclid, 44121. Just listed for five days, okay? It's a single family home and it's priced at $95,000. Now, you'll notice if you watch a lot of my shows, that is on the high end for pricing for single family homes, okay? And I did that because given your situation, it did not appear to me that you would be uh, the type of investor who would want to get into a potentially risky investment, right? When I deal with investors, I talk to them about their risk tolerance. And given that this is money for a trust for an elderly person to live off of, I thought, trying to get something, trying to chase cash flow into rougher, tougher neighborhoods where, you know, the returns could be like this, okay? It's like a roller coaster, a lot of peaks and valleys. I didn't think that was the the prudent thing to do, right, with your finances, okay? So I targeted this property for you specifically in South Euclid because this is a low low risk property nice bungalow it's already in great shape we don't need to do much to this particular property as you see dude you know the floors they already look nice right the walls they look nice now i have allocated ten thousand dollars in this analysis for repairs because sometimes looks can be deceiving like it looks great from what I'm looking at in this photo it doesn't even appear to me that we really need to touch this particular room but as we cruise through more photos you know you start to see some things right like super tiny thing here but like right here okay this is a picture on the wall to me you know when we take that down, that's little holes in the wall. You don't know what's going on there. There could be other things throughout the home. Like these are things that the agents are not going to highlight in their pictures. So, of course, it looks great from far away. But I wanted to allocate some funds because I assume prior to putting a tenant in, we're going to want to do some cosmetic work because we're trying to get a very high-end tenant, right? So we cannot give them a subpar product. So holes in the walls and then like this kitchen, right? The floor, it looks fine from where we're looking the countertops and stuff, you know, we could work with it, but we're trying to get a really high-end tenant here. We're trying to get a tenant who has the choice to live wherever they want, but they want to live in this house because it's a really nice house. So, you know, the dated look, we may want to improve upon that. And just like, you know, these old curtains, right? You know, that's holes in the walls, things of that nature. So I wanted to make sure... You know, just more things, right? Photos, right? There's more holes in the walls. I wanted to make sure we allocated for that, even though the house appears to be generally turnkey. And this is another thing, too, right? We got a little mismatch here, okay? You got a stainless steel fridge, a black dishwasher, and then you have a white and black stove, right? That's a mismatch, okay? So would that, you know, potentially work in some areas? Sure, I guess, but, like, I want to give you a very stable tenant. I do like what they got going on in the bathroom. The bathroom looks nice, by the way. But what I was trying to say, let me finish my thought. I want to give you a very stable tenant. I feel stability is more important for you in your situation than returns. I had to get that out there. But then the other thing I noticed, too, like looking at this far away, this looks good. This is great. Like I like this vanity. I like the mirror. That looks nice. But, dude, if we like really look close and it's going to be hard for you to see but like look at this right here are you a lender if so holton wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on holton wise tv today but like look at this right here okay you see that? It's it's pretty hard for you to see, but it looks like something's like kind of bowing out there, right? So these are things that people are going to notice when they get up close and the inspectors, right? We're going to do a third-party home inspection. They will notice these things, right? So that's why I got that 10 Gs in there because like, you know, far away looking at it like this, wow, dude, nice bathroom. But, you know, upon closer look, right, there's definitely some type of issues there, which is what my team and the home inspectors are going to find for us, okay? 
and then just you know finishing out like another thing too like everything looks nice but like look see how it's like looks like they put like you know probably a kid's room okay and they put a bunch of stickers and whatnot you know just stuff like that we're gonna clean up but like other than that just super duper minor right so with all that said it's listed at 95k I believe we can pick it up at 90. I want to try to get it for you for 90. Now you got to understand, man. There's a lot of competition in neighborhoods like this because you're you're dealing with investors, but you're also dealing with owner-occupied folks. Okay, so I think 90'd be the best case scenario. Like I said, I want to put 10 into it, right? Which takes us all into this deal for $100,000. We do that. We'll get a nice high-end tenant, cash pan tenant. We could go Section 8 if we want to uh, increase the amount. Uh, of buyer, uh, you know, tenant buyers out there, people out there, but I don't think we really need to, right? In the nicer neighborhoods, I like to just go with the cash paying tenants, right? Because the neighborhood is going to generate a lot of high quality tenants, responsible tenants, dual income tenants, things of that nature. That's who I want to target for you, right? So I think we should have no issue if we go just the cash route or if we go cash route and Section 8. Your call, I don't think we need to go Section 8 here. If it was a lower quality property, like a higher risk neighborhood, I would push you more towards Section 8. But here, I don't think we'll have any issues getting a cash paying tenant in there at 11 hundo. I anticipate spending an average of 571 a month. Now, that's an average, dude. Every month's going to be different, but that's why I chose this property for you because, you know, I don't think we're going to have a lot of eviction. I don't think we're going to have a lot of vacancy. I don't think we're going to have a lot of people breaking into the property, right, when it is vacant. So it should, you know, perform closer to that average than, you know, a higher risk property, right? So that leaves you and your mother with a 529 a month NOI or 6348 right? So every year I anticipate you guys are going to net around 6300 now i don't think you're financing i think you're just paying it cash so if at a hundred thousand ninety acquisition and then 10k to fix it up make it really nice that's a 6.3 cap respectable cap for a very nice property and then the other thing you got to think about too is eventually down the road you could sell this we spruce it up even more make it even nicer like this is a property you could hold for like five seven ten years and then when you do decide to liquidate it we go in and we treat it like it's a flip like an actual residential flip, you know, put like uh, AC, maybe new windows, do some other stuff to it. And your exit price, you know, could be in the, like the 130s or 140s, right? We don't need to put that much into it today to make it a high quality rental. But when you eventually want to liquidate this sucker, you know, with a neighborhood like this, I think we would definitely want to target owner-occupied buyers versus those investor buyers, right? So 6.3 cap, safe investment, and you got, you know, some nice stuff coming on the back end there. And I don't think you guys are financing it, but just in case you were thinking about financing, I ran the numbers for you on financing, uh, it would amount to a 9.1% return on your money. And that return is showing a little bit lower. It could, like, as just a rental, be like around a 10% return is what it'd pencil out to. But remember, I calculated putting 10 Gs into it up front. All right, Darren, welcome back. So as you see where I broke down the numbers, right? We're working with only $245 as our net cash flow after the mortgage is paid off. By the time you do the HELOC with your mother's house, bro, that is going to be evaporated, right? So you're going to definitely be cash flow negative on this particular property, right? So you're just in an incredibly high risk situation when your whole goal is to be low risk, right? So with where you're at right now, dude, you got $10,000. There is no shame in waiting, brother. Like you bought the 10 property package and, and you, I think you kind of understand that you know, I may go this direction because you said, hey, man, you are offering a sale on it. I may not be ready, but I wanted to take advantage of the sale. Great move out of you, bro, because look, here's the deal, dude. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Real estate's still going to be there two years from now. Real estate's going to be there five years from now, okay? COVID probably won't be there in two or five years, right? So I would assume your job security 
going to be much higher. I would assume the amount of money you have to play with is going to be higher as you continue to save, right? That package that you bought, dude, we don't have to do 10 properties in 2020. We don't have to do 10 properties in 2021, bro. You got a 10 property package for me. Let's. This is video number one. We got nine to go. Dude, let's just pause, man. There's no reason we can't pause, and then you come back to me in 12 months. We'll pick up right where we left off, bro. See where the situation is, right? Because I think in 12 months, I think your job, security, going to be much more stable because I think the sporting industry is going to be so much more stable because I'm assuming, I'm hoping that uh, the COVID scenario is, is no longer anything we got to work with. Uh, but, you know, if that's not the case, maybe it takes 18 months. Maybe it takes 24 months, right? There's that. And then, of course, there's, you know, your actual savings, right? Because right now you got 10 Gs. But even for that deal, right, the Bayard deal, right, that particular property, that was going to require 32000 So to get you into one of these properties, that's more or less what you need, right? You really need around 30 G's right even if we found something that was like fully occupied totally turnkey and we're like you know say a hundred thousand dollars that's still going to require you to have 25 grand so there's definitely no shame and uh, you waiting, just hitting the pause button to where you can get that money, right? Because, you know, technically, yes, with your 10K, what I can do too, if you want to go a different route, we could also take your 10K and we could pick up like a $40,000 property for you, but that is exactly the opposite of what you told me, right? You said you want to be low risk. So if I get you a $40,000 property, dude, that's high risk. Take a look at the uh, Tenants from Hell show, right? You know, it sounds like you've kind of already watched a lot of our shows. You said you've been, uh, you know, reading books and talking about, uh, you know, investigating and learning about real estate investment and telling me all the podcasts you listened to over the last, you know, several years, right? So it sounds like you've done your due diligence and it, I'm guessing you've probably seen my Tenants from Hell show. But if you haven't, take a look at that because, dude, I ain't going to lie to you, brother. If we if if we sell you a $40,000 property, don't get me wrong, I, I'll gladly, you know, take my paycheck for doing my job if that's what you want. But, dude, you're, you're going to be dealing with high-risk stuff. So let's, let's, you know, if your goal is low risk, man, let's just pause. Let's not try to jump in the water too early. Let's keep you low risk. And then one more thing that I wanted to show you, um, which is something you could probably do in the interim as well while you're waiting, right? Go to holdenwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, okay? Now, of course, you got the investment properties for sale show where, you know, we sell you uh, properties. Then you got where you're at, right? The MLS search analysis show. But down here, you may not have seen this, okay? This is the MLS access section of our website, okay? What this is, brother, this is my direct MLS access, okay? It's cheap. Uh, the packages start at 10 bucks. Uh, the particular ones that I think would make sense for you are these ones, $49.99, okay? So before you, uh, you know, start spending a bunch of money on more videos or before you, you know, go into massive debt, picking up uh, other properties, you know, spend your inheritance, let's also look at this route, okay? The seller finance deal route, okay? What this is is I take my direct MLS access, I pre-sort it, and I give it to you guys, okay? So, like, if you're looking at properties on, like, Zillow or Realtor.com, shit like that, you're getting the data later, right? They aggregate the data from brokers like me, MLS systems, like, which I belong to, okay? We got 5,000 or so agents in the Northeast Ohio MLS, okay? They get that data, but they get it, like, three, four days later. This is real time, okay? So, say an agent put a property on the market that has seller financing available, I will get that to you immediately. You'll get the email. So if that goes out, like the agent puts it on the market at 4 o'clock on Monday, you're going to have that email at 4 o'clock on Monday, whereas somebody looking on Zillow, they're not going to get it probably to like Wednesday or Thursday, right? And here's the deal with seller financing. I've got like millions of dollars of seller finance debt, right? I actually probably take on a million dollars or so every year of seller finance debt, but the caveat to that is, because I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you this telling you that this is going to solve all your issues and solve the fact that I want you to wait. This is just one more, uh, you know, plan of attack, plan of action, one more lure, right? Where This is one more fishing rod in the water. The main plan is still going to be to wait, but it's not a bad idea to have another buoy in the water or whatever the hell you call the, the thing that the hook's on. I don't know. I'm not a fisher. But it's a good idea to do this. Now, it's not going to solve all your problems, though, okay? Like I said, I take on about a million dollars to sell our finance debt every year, but here's the deal, bro. Between Holton Wise TV on the YouTube and then the uh, Instagram and all the other stuff, right? Dude, I don't know. We got probably like 150,000 total followers or subscribers or emails that we're blasting out, email lists that we're, you know, sending people, right? So we got all that. We got a full fleet 
uh, of vehicles in Cleveland, all lettered. I've got, you know, the Holton Wines name in thousands of yards, had thousands of tenants. So what I'm trying to say is, like, I am the most well-known real estate investor in my market. So when a seller is thinking about selling their property, I also spend six figures every year advertising this business. So when a seller is thinking about selling their property, dude, I'm one of the first people they think of. I'm like a very well-known entity. So because of that, it's very easy for me to continue to acquire the seller finance debt. I'm, I'm well-known. These people are able to get returns on their money by selling me their properties. So I get a bunch of it. Now you, cool as you are, brother, you're not a known entity. So if you get these, I don't want you to think it's going to solve all the problems. I don't want you to think that, dude... Fuck it. I don't even have to wait. I got fucking seller financing. I'm going to build a fucking $2 million portfolio in the next six months because James Wise hooked me up with seller financing. Probably not going to happen. It's a good idea, though, right, to, to see what's out there because when these deals do pop up, there's a lot of people trying to go after them, and you do have the opportunity to, to swoop in and, and snag a good deal. If you're waiting for Zillow, not going to be the case. But not all the deals that pop up are necessarily going to work for you. So this is going to be something you're going to want to monitor, okay? So when you pick this up, don't think that you're getting this and then like tomorrow you're just going to comb through all these properties and you're going to do like five deals. That's not how it works, right? You need to be like looking at this like a hawk. So whenever you get this email, you need to open it up, analyze the property, see if it'll work. If it if it, it looks like, you know, something could work, reach out to me. We could possibly do a video, investigate it further, see if we could work out a good low risk long term financing scenario where you don't have to put up that 25%. We could work with your 10k. But it may not work, but you have to continue to look at this, right? Cuz dude, there's 5,000 agents in this market. So, you know, maybe the deal's not on there today. Maybe it's not on there in three months from now, but maybe nine months from now, the perfect deal pops on there. You'll be the first guy to know about it. and We could try to take it down. So again, can't stress it enough, dog. Not going to solve all your problems. I think this is a great plan B to keep in line with your main plan of attack, which is saving, trying to get that $30,000. This is just another fishing rod in the water for you, brother. So that's what I think we should do. Uh, we should definitely pause and perhaps wait for one of those or wait till you got that 30 Gs. If for some reason this plan doesn't make sense to you and, and you want to you know, push forward, you want to try to buy something, you want to look at some $40,000 properties, we can do that. Let me know your feedback to this video. Let us know the plan of attack. You want to pause? Do you want to move forward trying to get $40,000 properties? Let me know, brother. We are here to, to help you out and do whatever it is that makes the most sense for your uh, investment goals, right? And everybody else, uh, if you go back to the, the website there and you go back up to the MLS Search Analysis Show, you can click on that to order a package if you want to work with me in the same way that Darren is. Uh, I think I've demonstrated to you that we provide unbiased advice, right? I don't know many other folks, many other brokers out there that are selling investment real estate, all these other turnkey companies that are selling you guys turnkey properties. I don't know how many of them are like, hey, don't buy any properties right now. Hold the phone, time out. Maybe buy them in a couple years, you're not ready. I don't know if there's a lot of people out there doing that. It feels like a lot of people are just trying to sell, 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 sell. What I like to do is give you guys the best unbiased advice and I want you to buy when it makes sense to buy. I want you to buy the property that makes sense for you, right? I'm not trying to get you guys just pound a bunch of bad deals or deals that don't make sense for you specifically uh, down your throat, right? I think for, uh, for your long-term success and my long-term success, incredibly unbiased advice like this is going to do better for both of us. So uh, if you want to get some of that for me, just like Darren did, that's how you do it. Everybody else, uh, keep watching the show. If you're a first-time viewer to Holton Wise TV, do me a solid, do yourself a solid, and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys, put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investing properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. 
The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.